Hi everyone. I'm just making sure that we're connecting. One of my cameras is saying that it keeps trying to connect, so I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. If not, we'll we're going to be on my Maggie's Bliss page for some reason that one's working okay. So I keep please tell me anyone who's coming on, especially in the Woods Yoga community group if you can see me. And if you can't see me, and if it's this it's constantly blinking on that particular page saying you're try, trying to reconnect so i just want to make sure that everyone can see me um i'm gonna hope and pray and have faith that all is well with the connection with the other camera and uh, you're gonna notice as i'm going through the journey that i am uh switching where I'm looking because I have two cameras going at the same time. So this full moon journey for the past several months because of what's going on has been online and I have been going in live in the Woods Yoga community group and my Maggie's Bliss Facebook page. So two separate cameras so that everyone gets a chance to enjoy the journey. Uh, and starting next, um, next month September I didn't actually work out the date yet but it's around when the full moon is uh, I think it's September like third fourth something around the same time as now in a month <laughs> it's in four weeks so uh, this journey should unless anything wonky happens should be happening in the woods yoga studio and uh, I'm gonna be streaming live still online. So, and because of the, what's going on right now, we they they are still in, the yoga studios are still having that extra um, uh, spacing requirements for people. So they believe they can fit about 15 people for the soul journey. So that'll be good. Um, hi, Laurie. So if you can't, if for some reason it's not working over at the Woods Yoga, I don't know what's happening with that other camera, come on over to my Maggie's Bliss page to watch the journey because it doesn't seem to be interrupting over there. It just keeps reloading. I'm just hoping that even though it's saying that, it it's staying. Still feeding. Still doing the feed. I hope, I hope, I hope, because it says 41 seconds, so I don't even know. In fact, if you guys don't mind, I'm going to just try to reconnect. This other camera's only on the Wi-Fi, not with uh, a phone connection so that's gonna that be, be challenging so let me just try and reload okay and refresh we stand by we we stand technical, by. Difficulties. technical difficulties yes um okay live and let me just Make sure it's Do not sideways. The <laughs> it, it does that thing where it's oh, description and it's not going to face full moon. I'll fix that later. Full moon. I had a nice long description that I'm not going to bother printing out right now. I mean, printing out, typing out right now. <laughs> Hi, Jackie. Good. How are you? Oh, it's still doing that reconnect thing. Would you mind going into the Woods Yoga community? I'm talking to my husband. Would you mind going into the Woods Yoga community and saying, uh, actually putting the link to my Maggie's Bliss page and just just let everyone know, like separate big post, um, that it's it keeps reconnecting and uh, send them over to my live on Maggie's Bliss. You can either cut and paste the actual post or, um, what was I going to say? Uh, Is the link just on your homepage? It's on my main page is where I'm live, so it can, you can do, just just tell them, uh, it, when you type it, it does the auto link, so you can do www.facebook.com slash Maggie's Bliss, enter, and then post, but just let them know why you're posting the link. Because <laughs> uh, it keeps trying to reconnect, and it's not like adding new time, I don't think, so I, I have a feeling I need to turn this off and just focus on the one. I can see your feed here live now, so. Um, on, on the woods? On Facebook. In the Woods community or on my Maggie's Bliss page? Uh, Maggie's Bliss. Uh, okay. Sorry. But you want me to grab that link is what I'm about to ask you. Yeah. Yeah. If it's possible. Sure. Like you could hit share and go to the group and uh, go to the Woods Yoga community and then just write 
having difficulties, go here. <laughs> uh, I think I have to go into it from the web to be able to do it that way. No problem. No problem at all. When I do yeah. it in the app, it doesn't let me grab the exact link. Oh, that's weird. Because usually when you hit share, you can go to a group. It's probably me. Just, but I'm, I'm on it. <laughs> okay. Hi, Lisa. We're going to get started. So I'm going to get started, and then um, my husband is on the uh, sharing of uh, the link to my Maggie's Bliss page because we're uh, it just doesn't seem to be working in the Woods community, and I'm so sorry. So that's why it's really good that we're going to have the Woods community <laughs> in in the Woods community. Um, we're in the, I'm sorry, the Woods Yoga Studio next month. So that'll be good. And, and you get like that extra powerful benefit of being in person with the sound journey, which is awesome. So let me just say welcome, everyone. I see some more people popping on, so I just wanted to say, do you, oh, do I do the readings? Yeah. Yes, I do, Lisa. I do um, uh, a channeled type of reading. I often will get the request beforehand. I, I need it by appointment, and then I actually um, connect to your energy before we actually chat, and then go over what I received and anything else that comes up during the reading. So yes, I do. <laughs> um, and I can make that video uh, a video reading where I can record it or whatever. Um, got, we have uh, technology, so that works. Um, so again, welcome. It is an Aquarius full moon tonight. And I'm, it's so exciting and really cool to be able to actually do this live on the full moon because I'm usually doing it like a day or two before. So this is really cool. Um, oh, I'm so sorry, Lisa, about your mom. Oh, and hi, Jackie. Um, yeah, so just let me know. Yeah, we can uh, set up some time if you would like. Uh, so uh, mediumship readings are a different animal completely than a channeled reading, and because sometimes they will, it will happen, and especially because that's your intention if you want a mediumship reading. The uh, readings that I do are mostly along with your soul's path and what is coming up for your energies now. Um, but mediumship, uh, you know, those that have passed, those loved ones do come in. So with that intention, we can try attempt that connect. Um, with mediumship readings, know that um, your loved ones will come when they're ready and they don't always come when you want them to. So when you sign up for a mediumship reading, they will know that you have this appointment and if they can, they will come if they're ready. If not, uh, someone else may have a more important message and may come to you first. It's how that works, the divine universe, right? Um, so um, I'm going to just take a second to turn off the Woods Yoga community feed because it's just not working. Um, I tried. I tried so hard. <laughs> and then I'm just going to focus on the one camera because it didn't, didn't work out. So I'm going to post anyone who's like knows me from the Woods Yoga. Bring that a little closer. Okay. Anyone who knows me from the Woods Yoga, I am um, letting you know that I'll post this in the community. Um, my husband's trying to see what he can do to get it shared to the community right, so that you guys come over here. And then after, and he did, oh cool, thank you. Um, after the uh, session, I'll post it to YouTube and I'll share the link in the community group so that everyone can have it and you can have it on the full moon. So I'll do my best to just get that. ASAP out there so everyone has it because it's awesome to do it on the full moon. So know that the full moon energies that you're feeling today, you felt strong yesterday, strong today, and strong tomorrow. So it's just, this is the peak today, um, but we always feel that full moon energy and can tap into that powerful energy uh, the day before, day of, day after, which is awesome. So we have the Aquarius full moon um, and we're in Sun Leo. So the Aquarius full moon and Sun Leo kind of being opposite of each other, earth and fire. I mean, air and fire, kind of like opposites in a way. Um, the Aquarius full moon is, so anyone who's an Aquarius sun, anyone out there, moon rising you feel as strongly and especially if it's your moon sign uh and my daughter's moon sign is aquarius so this is something that she's probably feeling energy of um with the aquarius full moon know that aquarians are they're they're awesome right so for um Aquarians, it's an air sign, so it taps into your intu intellectual. They, they love to work through things intellectually and mentally. It's that mental 
uh, and Aquarians, um, to some people, especially the emotion, more emotional people, might come off aloof, but they're not. Uh, they, uh, they do care, they're humanitarians, they're very independent, strong-willed, and they love to be different. Different to be different, they don't want to be the same as anyone else. So they'll, And they like to work with the opposite ends, the polarities, and, and work in the, the differences. Um, with that com combined energy and then the Leo energy, because we're in Leo, any Leos out there? Leo sun energy is very powerful. It's uh, fiery energy, it's active, and it the Leo is the lion, right? That's why they're the lion, or and they are the leader, and they, um, your, the combined energy is just telling you how can you tap into your own unique soul's mission and become the leader in what that is for you. What is that? It could be so unique and varying. It could be just being a leader in your home and taking that power as the, the mother or as the father, being a leader in your home, whatever that is. Or it could be a leader in your career, a leader in your soul's mission. What is that? Like, And, and it changes and shifts as we grow and evolve. Hi, ooh, Tam, Tam, am I saying that right? And hi, Pam. <laughs> I had to come in real close. I don't have my glasses on. I'm near side and the phone's a little far away. So um, my husband's an extra special guest for our sound journey tonight. He's come to a few of them live in person at the Woods Yoga. And now that we'll finally be doing them in person, hopefully by next month, check in with the events and all that. Um, you can check it out at the Woods Yoga Studio in Lincoln, Rhode Island. So that'll be cool. Um, so again, Aquarius energy is tonight. And we got the Leo energy. And we have, and I lo I'm loving the hearts. Thank you. Um, and then we have our full moon sound journey where, where I'm taking you is, uh, what's happening right now. We're in a bit of a portal right now. If anyone knows, <laughs> it's the lion's gate. It's called the lion's gate because it is within the Leo energy. So the lion, uh, but it's a portal of energy that begins around July 26th, ends around August 12th every year. And it peaks at, on August 8th every year. So this energy is, is coming up this Saturday is the peak. And this Saturday, just so you guys know and are aware, I am offering um, uh, an event. Uh, um, I'm doing one of the Star Rites on Saturday, August 8th, 8-8 on the lion's gate because the lion's gate energy taps into and especially for me and many of my galactic friends the lyran energy the lyrans are said to be our soul's past lineage our soul's you know ancestral lineage and the lyrans energy it's gold energy it's lion energy it's um they often come to us looking humanoid in form with lion-like faces. That's why you'll see over in Egypt, a lot of that energy in Egypt is all lion. The gold, the um, sphinx, right? And all the things. And Giza is a part of this lineup that's happening during the Lion's Gate. The Lion's Gate lines up the sun, star Sirius, um, and earth. Earth being in the galactic center right now so it's the most powerful location to open up your heart and open up to your uh, highest potential and earth being in the galactic center and then we have that lineup with the brightest star in our sky sirius and the sun so that energy from sirius which lets and i there's so much to mention there's no way i can mention it all but if you look at my event you'll see a lot more information if you're like oh my god i need more read up on it um, the Syrians, um, it's said that the Lyrans, when they went to war, the planet is destroyed, the realm is still there, the energy is still there, they've ascended. But it's said that many of them actually went to Sirius. So that's why we'll also see the lion with that blue energy from star Sirius and Sirius B. That energy is emotional energy, blue, water, dolphin, joy um, energy. So it's like a combined energy. So I'm going to lead you into the galaxy tonight. So it's going to be really cool. We'll pass through a few gateways like the angelic gateway, Sirius gateway, through the lion's gate portal. Um, the potential during Lionsgate is to tap into your highest potential, to um, 
lots of things will come up during the lion's gate things that you need to release things that and and you'll feel that heightened of energy if there's any resistance to what's coming up and what you're meant to do you'll you'll feel it'll be a lot more challenging time for you you'll feel the ick and the angst in your belly you'll resist it instead of flow through it and release what needs to be released so that you can fly through right so we had llamas on saturday not going to mention that <laughs> not going to go off on a tangent too much but llamas is saturday and it's usually celebrated for a whole week it's the harvest it's the first of our three harvests so i did offer um a llamas ritual for my mystic soul students and anyone else who wanted to sign up for that so that's out there and that's tapping into manifest energy which in the middle of Lionsgate so it's like all lining up nice and perfect for us to manifest what we desire you'll receive a lot of ascension symptoms kundalini awakening symptoms right now as your heart opens up more and more if you're totally and completely closed off you may not feel this and it's so cool um, that uh, phrase that thing that people say I, I just heard it again I think yesterday um, if you don't believe in magic, then you're not and you're not open to the possibility of it. You'll never experience it. So now it's just like be open to the unlimited potential that you are and that is out there for all of us. Um, and then you you'll be surprised at what comes up now. So you're going to feel that strong energy with the lion's gate. Um, so I, I feel like I sped through what I wanted to say <laughs> before getting to our Lionsgate energy. Um, but any questions, let me know. And then if you have questions after, I can try to catch up to the comments. And then of course I'll catch up to the comments after um, we close out for the night. I'll check the comments later and see if there's any questions, comments. Um, but just uh, before we get into our journey, quick announcements, like I mentioned, so it's 11 a.m. 8, 8 next Saturday, so just in, in five days, six days, at 11 a.m. we're doing the Lyran Triple Infinity Abundance Rite, one of the star rites, so you'll tap into that Lyran energy for manifestation on that powerful day, the peak of the energy, which is so cool. And then I'm also offering IET Intermediate Level September 12th. That, and all the events that I have are listed in my Facebook events page, uh, like on the events tab. Um, but uh, that's intermediate. So if you've already taken the first level with IET, then you'll be able to sign up for the intermediate level. If you haven't and you want a basic, let me know and I can set up the first level for you. IET is Integrated Energy Therapy with... Um, where it's a healing modality where you're healing with acupressure points, not on the traditional map of acupressure, um, utilizing and working with the angelic energies in the angelic violet ray. So that's a quick uh, explanation of what IET is. It's really awesome. So magical. Uh, any any other thoughts? Do you have questions, Don? Everything made sense to me. Awesome. Oh, yeah, I'm glad. Hi, Christina. You made it. Um, <laughs> so, uh, and there's of course some other classes and fun things going on. I believe I set up Moon A Key in October for uh, a set of three weeks in a row. We'll do three rites each time so it's uh, digestible, right? So that's in October uh, and Moon A is another powerful uh, set of rites. It's, um, Moon A is love, key is energy and just oh, go to the link and check it out. My website is maggiesbliss.com so you can check out the, the descriptions of all my offerings there and uh, again all the current events are listed on my facebook page uh, under the events tab so that'll be that'll be cool i'm like i feel like i'm forgetting something and it'll probably pop up during the journey and if i remember at the end i'll mention it then too um but have your crystals charge your crystals tonight put them out for charging under the full moon leave them out again for tomorrow under the sun so they get both of that powerful energy um frequency get our little selenite one for a little white light opening of our circle we are going to smudge i'm gonna do it over the safety of my little hot whatever cauldron so a little virtual smudge for you guys just to clear the space call your energy to present time allow yourself to be fully here hi jessica oh you'll be selling celebrating the Lionsgate portal on saturday too oh on the mountaintop in vermont so cool let's go there 
<laughs> Don't bring my husband back. <laughs> so clear your energy. If you have some sage, you can burn that right up right now. Get it through your fingers, through your hands. Where you send and receive the most energy is your hands, your feet, and your head. So come all the way around your, your field of energy. Get it all the way through you. Um, and have any crystals that you would like during the journey tonight. I was actually trying to think of what I would use tonight and the main one that came up for me was selenite so um selenite is uh pure light never needs to be cleared never needs to be charged it but you can <laughs> you can do it anyway um but so sel and selenite will clear your other stones so if you're like it's overcast i don't see the moon rays no 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 then you can get some selenite and help clear your stones and charge them up with some Reiki or just some white light of your own, just with your intention, hold the stones. Um, but selenite was what I was called to share tonight as one of the main things for you. And selenite was actually named by goddess Selene, and I forget which pantheon that is, but uh, because of the energy and the connection to the moon. So it holds that like moonlight energy too, which is awesome. Uh, also, that's if you're like just uh, tapping into the energy of the Aquarius full moon and you, you're going to clear your energy field with that for sure. Also, if you're into working with the Lionsgate energy and of course this Lamas energy that we're still like hovering over, um, pull in what you would like to manifest, the stones that you would like to manifest. So like citrine is a great manifester, yellow aptite is, citrine is great for your power center, um, yellow aptite is as well. Uh, if you're looking for leadership and to tap into that Lear energy, you can go for the Sunstone. Great stone for leadership. Um, and then uh, if you're looking for health, you want excellent health, then maybe some Bloodstone, some Tibetan quartz to help extract what no longer serves you and uh, to, to bring in and magnify the healing in your body. Tibetan quartz is great for that. Smoky quartz as well. Um, if you ha only have quartz, which is the cheapest, right? Because it's everywhere. Quartz can act as if. So if you have a stone that you want, but you don't have it, but you have quartz, you can talk to your stone and consecrate it even for just one night and have it act as if it is another stone. And then you can deconsecrate it when you're done. Until you deconsecrate it, that quartz is going to act as if whatever stone you've set up. Um, so if you're manifesting money, that um, green adventuring, citrine, like I said, yellow aptator is a great one. If you're manifesting health, bloodstone, Tibetan quartz, smoky quartz, love, rose quartz, um, copper is another one. It's a good uh, one that you add to your blend of calling in maybe your twin flame, your loving relationship. Um, what else would someone want to manifest? Career, uh, you could go for green, is it green jade? is a good one to help you with success in your career. Um, yeah, so the list goes on and on. What do you want to manifest? <laughs> Pull out those stones. And then you can lay them on your body if you're laying down. You can hold them in your hands if you'd like. I love to just have them touch my skin because I like that extra deeper connection. But you can just keep them around you, and that's powerful too. Um, light your candles for fire. We got our fire. Um, just have those all four elements. It's always good to have a clear your space with sage, call in your guides and angels um, to have a sacred container and to bring in earth, air, fire and water and maybe something that represents spirit for you. So for me, like I have angels around, Buddha is another good one, uh, Lakshmi, uh, some sort of deity if you're um, into like the different frequencies of energy that God, Goddess, the Divine flows down to us, Jesus. Um, what what is it that you'd like to connect with? So earth, of course, is your crystals. Um, air is a feather or something that represents air to you. Water is your um, chalice or uh, your essential oils. And oh, did you bring those essential oils back, hubby? I have here. Um, so I have I pulled a couple of essential oils out to bring in our water element. And Aquarian, Aquarius is the water bearer. So that's interesting, right? Because it's an air sign. <laughs> that's why you see the waves with the Aquarius symbol. But I pulled in the soul star. I was called to use soul star, soul star blend by Sage Goddess to connect higher because we're going into higher realms. And we're going to place it on our wrist, whatever one you're called to use. 
wrist for what you do, third eye for what you know, and ankles for where you go, so that you tap into the main gateways where you send and receive the most energy, and it also gets into all your meridian lines in your body. Uh, and same for the next one. So I'm using also Moldavite. So that's another stone that you can hold too. So this is Moldavite oil with a Moldavite chipstone inside it. Moldavite is high in vibration. It comes from the galaxy. It's said to be, you know, from a big meteor collision crash to Earth. Um, so it, it's said to hold a lot of the uh, minerals and, and such from the galaxy, all over the galaxy. So many people will hold it and they feel that um, connection to above and raise their frequency like so. It's one of the Synergy 12 stones as well, Moldavite. Uh, so you can either get the oil on Amazon. I happen to have a beautiful blend that I love the smell, the scent better that came from Sage Goddess. So I don't know if they have any left. This was like purchased um, almost a year ago. So <laughs> um, I grabbed a couple because I know that she was going to sell out, right? Um, so again, wrists, third eye, ankles. So if you were here, I would share. <laughs> Hubby had got got the chance to have I'm in some. The door. <laughs> He's in the door. He's with us for the journey. Okay, so water, earth, air, water, fire for your candles. So light some candles. I have a bunch next around my uh, crystal ball. So there's that. You can, if you have nothing, that's okay too. I've had some powerful meditations with just me. Our tools are meant to help us focus, magnify our energy, and be able to tune in without even using them eventually, right? Uh, or just occasionally using them. But we can have powerful journeys without anything. And you can also tap into the energy and the frequency of what I've set up for you. So I'm holding this sacred container for you outside of time and space. And this energy is in your present now moment whenever you watch. So yay! So let's get started. Um, I have my bowls here, as you just heard. They're all around me. I just couldn't get them in the visual and have it be heard and felt the way I want it to be heard and felt by you guys. So um, this, I always showcase this one. This is my, they're all quartz. And this is quartz and moldavite, my third eye bowl. Um, one of my favorites. Um, I love the resonance and just knowing that that extra moldavite energy is in that bowl. It's really cool. So, everybody ready? So what we want to do when we're meditating is to make sure that our chakras are in a nice straight line of energy. So no slouching is if you can help it. If you're reclining back, make sure it's in a way that you wouldn't fall asleep. If you do end up falling asleep, that's okay because sometimes our guides puts, put us out so that they can work more deeply beyond our logical brains. They can do, do that actual work. Yeah, don't drive while you're meditating. Um, although I've not done that. So, um, <laughs> don't do what I do. Just do what I say. <laughs> um, so if you're seated, so again, just thinking about straight spine without like, you know, you still be relaxed, but straight spine. So you have good flow of energy and then palms are facing up to have that allow good flowing energy to flow in, be in a nice receptive position. So let's get started. So if you are here live with me online, of course, um, whether live or not, uh, have headphones. That'll be the best way to really hear the bowls. Um, if you can, if it's possible. If you're so, not in the room. If you're not in the room like my husband is right now. <laughs> so now let's get started. So wherever you are, just allow yourself to be in this present moment. There's nothing to do, nowhere to be, just being here right now, breathing. Allow yourself to be in this time and space, this present moment, <coughs> without interruption, so that those things that are think you're thinking about, worrying about the past, the future, just a Think about taking it right now and just placing it in the basket outside the room. It's going to stay there for you if you'd like to grab it on the way out. Or maybe when you're done with this, you'll find that you don't need to grab anything anymore or hold on to it. Send it to the universe and allow the universe to take it away and take care of it for you. So now take a few deep cleansing breaths. Breathe fully and deeply in through the nose. Fill the belly, the diaphragm, the lungs. Exhale, breathe. 
breathe out through the nose and allow the breath to descend back down to the bottom of your belly. And do this two more times, fully and deeply in. Exhale, fully out. Even pulling the navel in towards the spine to empty out more of that stagnant air. Breathe fully and deeply in.
We also invite in Archangel Sindolphin of the five deers crystalline grid below us. Archangel Metatron from above of the galactic central sun, Christ grid, Buddha consciousness. And Archangel Shamuel within of the heart center, bringing love into our space. Seven angels and guardians all around you, above you, below you, within you. As above, so below. As within, so without. Begin to visualize and feel and see beautiful bright white light vortex of energy surrounding your entire body spinning faster and faster almost to the speed of light this vortex is highly protective high in vibration connected to you in your energy enabling you to travel Begin to travel with this vortex, spinning deeper and deeper now, flowing through the layers of earth, rock, soil, and time, molten lava magma, crystalline layers, crystalline caverns, all the way to the crystal core of earth, grounding, connecting to the crystal core of earth. Mother Nature Energy, Pachamama, connecting you here in Middle Earth. You are a part of this nature, the Earth. You feel its essence of it as if it is your own. Many star beings have traversed Middle Earth. As we connect to the Lion's Gate energy, notice which star being is coming forth to be your guide tonight. It may be from the Lyran race, golden beings of light, humanoid in form with lion-like faces, some coming in fully human form, often Sirius, star Sirius, Sirius B energy. 
open to the possibility for more, more than you could possibly imagine. Approaching the Lion's Gate portal, you can feel its warmth, its energy. And you easily pass through the gateway where it assists you in releasing what no longer serves you, calling in your highest potential. 
as you stand in the center of the pyramid, you notice the walls lined with light codes, frequencies, and energies as you stand on a floor made of rose quartz, love, energy, and standing before you, the Lyran Elder places a golden Merkava above your head. 
wisdom of this 12D consciousness may hit you as well in powerful ways. You'll come back with much wisdom and light codes to unpack in the days and weeks to come. Thanking the avians, it is now time to take your leave with your guide vortex, you head back the way you came, passing through the Lyran Gateway in Realm, heading back through Alcyon, Star Sirius, the Angelic Realms, soon Earth's moon comes into view as you speed past all the planets in this galaxy, and you make your way back to Earth's atmosphere, closer and closer, you come back into your body, into this present now moment, where we thank our guide for being here, working with us, and through us, and healing us on our journey, they take their leave, and we thank the great guardians gatekeepers and angels thanking Archangel Shamuel in the heart we release you Archangel Metatron above we release you Archangel Sandalphin below we release you and the horizontal force we release and thank the guardians in the north in the west in the south it to Gaia, where we ask Gaia to take this energy, transform and transmute it into pure light, sending it to where it needs to go around the planet, for the highest of us good of all always, and allowing your awareness to come back more fully into this present now moment, opening your eyes when you are ready, it's already warm down here and it's so hot from the journey, how was that for everyone? <laughs> It gets so hot with all the energy that just gets emitted through to you guys and where we were going. And some of you may notice as you float through the galaxy that you get cold because it's actually cold out there. <laughs> um, so that's, that's, that's a common thing that people feel when we do anything out in the galaxy. <laughs> uh, interesting stuff. If you had stones or crystals with you, blow into them now for those stones and crystals to take the energy and the frequency of this ritual, this journey, and and then allow you to journey with them, maybe go to bed with them, or further meditations where, future meditations where they can unpack more wisdom that you need and perhaps you couldn't uh, unpack tonight. Oh, anytime, Kimberly. Um, I was going to say something I meant to mention before to you guys, uh, just uh, a week, was it a week, week, maybe two weeks ago, my husband did an amazing new thing. So like July was the month for us uh, in my Mystic Soul classes and my yoga teacher training classes that I've been doing with everyone. We ended up going into this beautiful chant with uh, Lloyd Ganesha. The uh, removal of obstacles chant, Om Gum Ganapatiye Namaha. And we chant that 108 times in our mala, right? So my husband was guided to do this really cool song with that mantra 108 times with his drum in action because he's an amazing, talented drummer. And all combined together, and it's really beautiful. And we've been getting some really cool feedback. People have said that they've listened to it and it feels like things have been cleared for them. So give it a listen. It's not on my YouTube channel. Probably should be, but I'll post the link because I'm talking about it again. I did post it on my page, but it's further back, like like I said, like a week or so, or so ago. So I'll post it again for you guys because it's really cool. So if you're feeling like you need a little extra, you can go to sleep with it, whatever. Um, listen to it. It's really amazing. So I wanted to mention that. That was something I forgot. 
So again, you can go to maggiesbliss.com for any of my uh, class descriptions and then see on my Facebook page under the events tab for what's coming up next. Like I said, we have the Lions Gate 88 on Saturday at 11 a.m. So anyone who's interested in getting their Lyran Triple Infinity Abundance right, come for that. Um, just sign up, register, and pay, and then I'll be able to give you access to that when we go live on Saturday. Uh, September 12th is IET Intermediate for anyone who's interested, and then we have Moon A Key starting up in October. Uh, really cool stuff coming up, so just check out all the fun things. Um, again, if you have questions, let me know. The crystal bowls, so these are not Tibetan bowls, they're quartz crystal bowls. They actually heal you at a cellular level, and what I forgot to mention before we started was, some people, especially like if you're in the room with it, will get this like, I need to leave energy, and it's not that it's painful, because obviously if it's painful, you should leave, right? It's It's that energy of, the lower frequencies and vibrations are readjusting and transforming, transmuting, right? So that it adjusts to your highest vibration, highest potential uh, of frequency. So that's kind of what's happening there. To assist with whatever's been released and raised and released from your body, right, comes um, from the journey itself. And then also from these bowls, it things come up just like with Reiki and massage, it comes up to the surface to be released. Water, water, water. I can't stress that enough. Drink tons of water. If you're thirsty, then you're already dehydrated. So make sure you use the water to assist you in releasing all that, that stuff, right? Like, like my shirt says, let that shit go. <laughs> I know it's, it's flipped on Facebook, but, um, but that was a former shirt. <laughs> smudge again, if you need to put your crystals out tonight and is there anything else? Am I forgetting anything? No, but thanks for the plug. <laughs> It's an awesome song. Um, so I'll be seeing you guys and uh, take note of when our next full moon journey is. It'll be posted soon. I'll check in with Christine for the um, the woods yoga uh, thing because if you're here local to Lincoln, Rhode Island, I'm pretty sure 99% that it'll be in person and online. So just check back for that. So we'll get that going. I hope you have an amazing full moon and uh, get some rest and drink some water. Talk to you guys soon. Namaste.